first ensure that you have a fully charged battery and a CF card for the camera. Place the battery in the bottom right hand side of the camera by opening the tab. Push the flap open on the right hand side of the camera and insert the CF card into a slot. Then proceed to power your camera. Then put the camera into filming mode, which is done by flicking the switch to the little red camera icon. Lastly, press the menu button. Scroll along to the audio menu and ensure that the internal mic is set to manual. You're now set to record footage. Next, we will move on to the sound equipment. This is everything you'll need. The Mix Pre D, Tascam DR100 recorder, Sennheiser radio mic, headphones, Sennheiser shotgun mic. So let's start setting up a Sennheiser shotgun mic. Depending on the location of your shoot, you may need a wind jammer, which will effectively stop any sound from strong winds. Attach the mic to the pistol grip and connect the XLR input cable into the mic. The next step is to screw in the boom pole into the bottom of the pistol grip. Finally, connect the long XLR cable into the pistol grip output. Let's move on to the Mix 3D. It is powered by two AA batteries that are placed into a slot. Make sure that the batteries are inserted negative side first. The XLR cables coming from the shotgun mic will need to be inserted into the channel 1 mic output of a Mix 3D. To power the mic, you will need to set the switch to 48V. You may need to use radio mics. Simply insert the batteries into both the receiver and transmitter. Press hold the on and off button until the screen lights up. Make sure that both devices correspond with each other in order to get the best sound quality. Finally, you will need to plug in the XLR to mini jack cable into the receiver where it is labelled AF out. The XLR end of the cable will then need to be slotted into the mic output on channel 2. Because we have batteries for this mixer, we can select the internal power to turn it on and off and a green light should appear above it. Make sure you have a left channel set to L and the right channel set to R. Next we have a Tascam DR100 recorder. Before you start, ensure that the two AA batteries are inserted into the back of the recorder. Mic gain should be switched to M. All switches on the back of the recorder must be off. Most importantly, ensure that you have an SD card slotted into the top of the recorder. On the underside of the recorder, plug in the red XLR cable into the R input and the other XLR cable into the L input. Also make sure that you select line 1 on the recorder. Then connect the cable to the corresponding outputs located on the right hand side of the Mix 3D. Ensure that the switches below the output are switched to line. Then hold the ON button located on the left side of the recorder until the lights turn on. Next you will need to plug your headphones into the Mix 3D. Then switch on the 1kHz tone to confirm that the mixer is working fine. You should hear a tone through the headphones. You're almost done. Adjust the wheel on the right hand side of the recorder to adjust the incoming sound to roughly minus 18 decibel. If needed you have one level of bass cut to improve the sound. 
Or alternatively, you have two levels of base cut. Finally, the record button should be flashing red. This means that it's ready to record for sound. Simply hit the stop button to stop recording. You have now set up a Canon 7D with a recorder, mixer and microphones.